Hi, singing friends or friends in general or people who may have randomly stumbled upon my channel. Welcome. My name is Michal Tauber and I am your friendly neighborhood singing coach. <music> my friends. This past week has been really intense and I, just like the rest of you, am trying to deal with what's happening in the world and get used to this new normal for the moment. I'm sure a lot of you are very stressed out right now <laughs> and, and I don't want to be insensitive in any way or pretend that life is continuing on as normal. Obviously that's not true but I wanted to not let you guys down and not disappear and still put up something this week. We're doing fine. I am in Tenafly, New Jersey, which is in Bergen County, which is actually the county with the highest number of COVID-19 cases in New Jersey right now. And our governor, Phil Murphy, has given us the shelter at home order. So we're just hanging out at home. My kids are all home with me. We're doing homeschooling and I've been getting used to that very intense family time this past week. So that's definitely been an adjustment, but the kids are all happy and healthy, and so are we, thank God. We have enough food, we have enough supplies, and we're very comfortable just going a little bit stir crazy. I'm sure you're checking news constantly, and I wanted to provide a little bit of an escape. And one of the things that always helps me in times of stress or when I'm feeling bad is listening to music. So I haven't had a lot of time to focus on singing or doing music this week. So I thought it might be fun today to create a pandemic playlist. So I've assembled 11 songs that I thought were appropriate. I didn't put a lot of thought into it. I just went with my gut impulse, but I would love this to be an ongoing project with you guys and to make it interactive. And as you guys know, I grew up in the 90s during the heyday of alternative rock. So my choices are very skewed in that direction, but I would love to have input from you guys from other genres of what I should include. So please put your suggestions in the comments below and I will continue to update this playlist. And hopefully this is just something that we can all listen to and have playing in the background to get our minds off of what's going on in the outside world. So the first song on my playlist is very much on the nose and I debated whether I should include it, but I felt like if I didn't, the National Guard would come to my door and order me to put it on. So here it is. R.E.M. It's the end of the world as we know it. Right, right, you patriotic, patriotic, slam, fight, right, I feel it, pretty sight. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. The next song that I chose is by Nine Inch Nails, which is one of my favorite bands of all time, off of their album Year Zero. The song I chose is In This Twilight, and they have a lot of songs that are very dark, but this whole album is very post-apocalyptic, and I just love the lyrics in this particular song. Dust to dust, ashes in your hair remind me what it feels like and I won't feel again. Night descends, could I have been a better person if I could only do it all again? So not to get too heavy and dark, but I think in moments of crisis, when we're unable to distract ourselves with being in the rat race or buying things, we are able to focus on the bigger questions and the things that we might ask ourselves on our deathbeds. And I think it's an opportunity for all of us to ask ourselves if we're doing the right things, not only personally, but as a society. Hopefully we'll all come out of this corona experience evolving in a better direction. Dust to dust.
that I chose is also kind of a bummer. It is Billie Eilish's cover of Rob Dickinson's The End of the World. And the reason I chose this one is because most of us are probably quarantined with our families right now. And while there's something really, really beautiful about that, because of course, if the world was actually ending, those are the people you probably would want to spend your last five minutes with. It does not come without its stress and strain. <laughs> and of course, there are those who are not so lucky and who can't be with the ones that they love right now. You know, I would love to be with my parents, but I think under the circumstances, given the nature of the virus, it's safer for them to be separated from my kids. And there are those who don't live in the same cities as their families or who might be in long distance relationships and who can't be quarantined with the people that they care the most about right now. So it's just a very nice reminder that we should keep the ones we love close because we never know how long we have and it's important to kind of cherish those relationships. Saying everything ends. Saying you can't depend on anything or anyone If the end of the world was near Where would you choose to be If there was five more minutes of air Would you panic and hide or run for you? Stand here and spend it with me If we had five more minutes Would I, could I make you happy? The next song on my playlist is an original song and I get to include one of my songs because it's my playlist! <laughs> so this song is called Zeros and Ones and it was produced and engineered and arranged by my friend Brian Hodges, who is an amazing musician. The concept of the song is that we have a very complicated relationship with technology right now. And even though all of us are sheltering at home and quarantined and self-isolating and putting social distancing into effect, we're still lucky enough to be able to connect through technology and be able to talk on FaceTime and on Skype and yet, even though we're more connected than ever and the world is more of a global society than ever before, technology also isolates us and you can end up feeling very alone because there's nothing like being able to embrace somebody or be face to face. So a lot of intimacy is lost. And I think these are issues that we were struggling with before the coronavirus. You know, this is a society that has become more and more dependent on technology. So hopefully you enjoy the song. And of course, I'm including the playlist in the description box so you can listen to all of the full songs. This human connection through technology next song is by another one of my all-time favorite artists, Elliot Smith, and it's called A Fond Farewell. It's from his album From a Basement on a Hill. He is the music that I listen to whenever I am feeling really bad. And my strategy for dealing with depression is rather than listen to happy music and try to get myself out of it, I like to just wallow and dive deep and really just make myself more depressed. It's not a strategy that I necessarily recommend, but he just has such painfully beautiful music and he had a particularly tortured personal story and he was just such a poet. 
And he also kind of originated that whisper singing that Billie Eilish has popularized recently. He was just able to sing about really ugly emotions and experiences in a very beautiful way and just really capture the bittersweetness of life in a very accurate way because life is suffering after all. I had to inject some levity into this playlist as it was getting very dark. So this next song is Bat Out of Hell by Meatloaf because we all know that the coronavirus came from people eating those little suckers. <laughs> next song is A Perfect Day by Lou Reed and this is a great example of irony in music because although the song is ostensibly about a perfect day, it's what we all want to listen to when our days are not so perfect. Just a perfect day You made me forget myself I thought I was someone else Someone good Oh, it's such a perfect day I'm glad I spent it with you Oh, such a perfect day You just keep me hanging on You just keep me hanging on This next song, The End by the Doors is another Captain Obvious song that no end of the world playlist would be complete without. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my only friend. The end of our. Safety or surprise the end I'll never look into your eyes again The next song on my playlist is Exit Music for a Film by Radiohead and I chose this song for the lines breathe, keep breathing, don't lose your nerve because I think it's a good reminder for all of us to take a few deep breaths and not panic. We're getting deluged with all of this scary information every second on social media and the news, and it's really easy to spiral and just let ourselves get carried away and lose our heads. Don't lose 
song on this playlist is Come Out and Play by The Offspring and I chose this one for the lines like a spreading disease and got to keep them separated because it's a great reminder that we need to practice social distancing in order to stop the spread of this virus. <laughs> Separated. Hey! The man you disrespect me! Take him out! You gotta keep them separated! song on my playlist is Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles because I wanted to end on a happy note and also because the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere is called its corona. And UV light has been known to kill a lot of viruses. It's actually a great disinfectant. So even if you're sheltering in place, remember to get outside and get a little sunshine, take a little walk by yourself with your headphones in, perhaps listening to this playlist. Here comes the sun, here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. this video and I'm sending all of you out there in internet land a digital germ-free hug from me to you. I will see you here next week for another video. Until then, stay calm, stay well, and happy singing.